Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and making custom trees for our Lego city. We're using the Lego A-frame as the inspiration for this video. We really like the way that those trees came together and are very colorful and do a great way of adding some pop of color to any type of city-esque build. So if you like this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more content and we will have more reviews coming out around the corner. So let's get into the video. So in order to accomplish this build, we started in the BrickLink Studio here. And if this is the first time you've ever seen this, you can download BrickLink Studio online from the actual website here on BrickLink. You just go through the process here, download. In my case, I have a Mac uh, ARM version, but uh, it's all the same. It's Mac and Windows. And you can see that there's a change log and all this other stuff to download and give you access. So on the first time you open this up, you'll have this page here that allows you to open new builds or create a new build or go back to other people's builds, whatever. Uh, you can sign in with your BrickLink account and then everything will be synced up together. But for our case, we're going to go to new. We're just going to create a new build here. So you'll see it starts off with a base plate looking section. This can be bigger or smaller depending on your settings and you can change all that in your preferences. The first thing we're going to do is import all of the pieces from the actual Lego model. So you go file, import, import official Lego set here. And it asks for the set number. So I have a new tab opened up here, open to the Lego A-frame cabin because I want to make these trees, but in the colors that I want. I want these trees in my own colors. So we're gonna grab this set number, 21338. We're going to pull that open in BrickLink Studio here. So when we paste this, we can import in scene or as a palette. I typically choose to go with the in scene version. The as palette just makes your colors all the same. Uh, the in scene actually drops in all your parts. So we're not going to include minifig parts or extra parts because currently we don't care. But this is how you get all of the parts from this set into BrickLink Studio. So if we click import and let that do its thing, um, it says some parts failed to import, but we're not too worried about it. Click OK. So now we have every single part that is in this set just laid out on our palette. And we can pick and choose and, pr and try to build this set ourselves, or we can do with it as we want. So this is how people do alternate builds and other stuff like that using the BrickLink Studio. So in my case, um, I have this already completed. So let's let's go take a look at that and we'll see how I modeled these trees. So like I said, I imported all of the parts. Uh, you can see them all laid out all over the place. And then I assembled the trees using the Builder app. For this build, I went to step 143 for the A-frame cabin and started mocking up what the actual build looked like, looked like in terms of the pieces used here in the palette. And once I actually assembled them, completed on 181, we had the final tree here. And once we had the final tree, I was able to take this tree and copy it. So I just select it all, copy, and then paste. And it lets you just paste it right in. And then once you have this other tree, you can take your original and do whatever you want with it. Or you can take this new one, and you can go and select all the different leaves. And the smart thing to do would be to build this in steps or categorize them so you can just select all and change the color but in my case I didn't do that and so this is a little bit more difficult um, but you can by holding control or command if you're on Mac decide you can pick multiple at once and then you can come up here and change the color and the color validator uh, usually helps you pick out the colors that are available for this set. So um, if you have a color chosen like that, it should tell you if it's wrong. So sand green, for example, um, I changed the color of those 
and then if you see in the little uh, in the little part tree here these have a little exclamation point indicating that that's not an actual piece that's available through Lego so then you'll have to go through and change the colors accordingly but then once you're done you end up with a tree like so and this is what we were going to use for our build another thing you can do here is you can actually export as a part list and this will give you all of the parts so if you end up building your tree and you say okay that's all I need you can go through here and like delete all these parts out and then only export what you need so you can just go and delete all those go to file export and export as part list and you save your part list as a CSV file and then you can import that into BrickLink to order the parts individually or you can just look at the part list and order them from Lego so in my case, I ended up just going to the Lego Pick a Brick section on the website and went through piece by piece and selected all of the ones that I would like and put in a quantity that I needed for uh, a certain amount of trees. In my case, I ended up ordering enough tree enough. In my case, I ended up ordering enough parts for about five or six trees. And then I started going through and I was like, oh, these look kind of fun. So I just started adding parts for different types of colored trees to my cart. So I now have all of these different colors in case I want to eventually change something up. But uh, the main part for this was those parts up there. And then those are on the best seller, so those shipped within a, about a week or so. And then these ones are the ones that I waited on for a while. These ones take up to 28 days because they ship directly from Billund and they take quite a bit of time. And then I had an, I ended up having a little bit of an issue with these three branch cross axles with the cross. Um, I got my order and, you know, Lego hand picks these. And so whoever was picking my order that day just happened to miss that this was at the bottom of the list and, and didn't get those picked. So then it took another, uh, another approximately 10 days or so for those to get shipped in here. So this has been quite a bit of time waiting for all of these parts to come in. But uh, I'm glad that they all arrived, and we will show you the builds here from building them in studio to the final product and integrating into our LEGO City. So this is what we came up with after we completed the build. We used the A-frame cabin directions to build the tree, but we substituted our colors that we really wanted to use to create these little small trees. We didn't do every single one of the pieces. Like, we didn't get any of those small little birds or some of the connection points that they use on these trees like some of them um, are used in these little technic pins here with the holes sometimes they put a little axle in there and give you the opportunity to connect some other parts to it but yeah so here was the tree that we designed in Brickling studio and like I said we ordered some more pieces so we took that and we built some more trees out of it so we could make our Lego city look very colorful so let's take a look at those trees this was the second tree that I built. This is following one of the other trees within the A-frame cabin build directions. I just used the same pieces and just made it the taller version of the smaller tree um, and changed the colors to be more um, dark and using the dark green and the like almost a Kelly green. I can't remember what the actual color for this is, but uh, I just used the two colors instead of three but had this tall tree come out of it, and I think that looks really good. So uh, let's take a look at the third tree and then integrate all of the trees that we made into our LEGO City. So this was the last tree that I built for our custom trees that we are putting in our LEGO City. This one follows along more with the smaller tree, um, but just using more spring-like color. So it's got the dark green leaf elements, the large leaf elements, and then it's got some other... Uh, of the regular green leaf elements. Um, this one I did add a little Technic pin to this and then I added a little bucket. I wanted to try to add some apples and maybe make this like an apple tree but I haven't done that yet. It's still kind of winter right right with transitioning to spring so maybe this tree uh, will sprout some apples here in the near future. I think that looks pretty cool. I did add some other elements to this tree too like there is a uh, nubbed branch right there. Also using a Technic pin that just sits in that little Technic uh, connector piece there. And then this one, yeah, again, is pretty simple, but it gives us some very optimistic springtime colors that we can add to our city. 
And here's our Lego trees finally integrated into our city. I love the way that the colors all come together. And like I said, we have some other colors that we could interchange with these. Um, but it just makes everything pop. Thanks for watching the video. I hope to see you in the next one. Please remember to like and subscribe for more content. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank <music> you.